Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at bone groups in Blender and why you might want to use these. You don't have to use these, um, but a lot of times uh, in a rig, in a skeleton, uh, it'll be have a lot of bones and be kind of messy looking and it can kind of help you um, identify bones quickly especially on the left here if you look at my dope sheet or action editor uh, it, the bones all have different colors so I can kind of tell uh, immediately what I'm looking at um, by the color of the bone in the list and then here you know um, it's kind of easier to make out what group of bones you're using and when you do um, group your bones up a lot of time you a lot of times when you're animating you'll be working on one set of bones you know you kind of do one set of bones at a time you know tackle the um, body movement or tackle the wings or tackle the tail um, all at once you know so you'll be mo working on a set of bones rather than the whole thing at once really so having these different bones makes it easy and when you want you can just um if you if i wanted to select this whole leg or all the legs really then i could hit um grouped and that would select all the legs at once and who knows what I would want to do with them from there. But um, I'm using, I have this in a quick, um, quick favorites list. But I think it's under, yeah, select and then grouped. So that would be selecting your bone group. Let's say if I wanted to select all of the IK points. Okay, I've selected one and now I can go select grouped um group and that selects all of them and then i could lift all of their legs at once oops i have that just like that and okay so how do we set up these bone groups and the set these different colors and everything well on the right side in your properties window uh, you have all, you know, a uh, tab that's bone groups. So you can open that up and then assign, remove, and then here I could select a whole group. So let's say I just wanted to select the wings. I could just select the wings like that. And how, how do we set these up? So you would just hit the plus, plus sign and then create a group. Um, I don't know what group. I don't have one that's not already <laughs> selected. But um, so whatever you would name it, uh, let's just change a group then. Let me just uh, change uh, the upper legs. Oh, that's a good set. Yeah, there we go. Let me just do the front legs. So I'll select all of those front leg bones, and then we'll just call this front rename it just double click it and then you can rename it so front i'll hit assign to those and now it's going to take on whatever color um is, i select in here right now it's just selected on default but let's make it an orange or something like that or i could make it maybe a brown more brownish color now they're all selected and they have different um colors when they're uh, highlighted or selected or um, selected in a combination. Now, if you look at my bones too, I'm using stick bones. Um, this is also in your properties window under the running man symbol there uh, under viewport. So uh, I could use, you know, whatever kinds of bones you want to look at. Okay, I tend not to use this kind of classic orthogonal octa octahedral. Okay, octahedral um, 
type of bones. I tend to use stick because you can still see them, but, um, you know, they're not uh, so big. You don't see the um, character or whatever. So, uh, what else? The colors. Okay, the colors, you can change. You can kind of make your own custom color set by going into the um, preferences. So we go to, if we go to edit preferences and then uh, bone color sets, open up bone color sets. And then here you can change whatever um, the colors are to whatever you want. And uh, what else should I talk about? But there are different options for viewing. Wired, I will use occasionally just because it's so non intrusive. You know, you can kind of see everything. But I tend to go with stick most of, most of the time. Uh, and also in the, um, in the, um, the action editor or dope sheet, uh, you can have, you know, the colors of the bones show up here. And outside, uh, the only thing I want to really mention about here is I like to group these up into the bone sets, you know, that they are and, and group them together in some kind of hierarchy that makes sense. Uh, the way you can do that in the dope sheet, though, is by using your uh, page up and page down buttons after you select one of the bones you can move it up or down and then once i have that set then i'll make kind of every animation off this one and that way my uh, bone set is always set up the way i want it but that's i think everything i want to talk about bone groups uh, i don't think bone groups uh, export uh, in an fbx i could be wrong though um, but i think that's it uh, that's the video today, everyone. Have a good one.